and welcome back to Straight Talk. You know, before the break, we were discussing, I guess, the ban on, on the radio station. And, and I guess um, one of, like Regan had mentioned that, that she had gone on, um, I, I guess a week or so ago with uh, Jessica, and, and they signed, uh, I guess, a document saying that they weren't going to do certain things. And, and they don't use that for everybody, though. It, it seems like, I guess, some people sign them, some people don't. Um, I guess it was it's it's inconsistent. Maybe like now it, it'll be more, but it, it wasn't like that before. You never sign anything. No, over the last two years that I've been on, and I've been on a few times with Lori, uh, that was never even suggested or or, or or offered to me, to be honest with you. So I, that's really the first that I'm hearing of it. But maybe yeah. maybe because I went uh, as MCK Friday, so maybe that has some. You know, I, mean, I don't know, but well, you, the, the, you know, there's you know everything is political. Everything is political, and I'll tell you that I, I, I hosted the talk show for like five years, I think. Okay, and at nowhere at any time, with the exception of maybe Keith Mile, okay, uh, was anybody from the Mohawk Council ever ever approached with anything like that? But I can tell you that there were certain community members who would go on that, that were. And there's, and there's no time delay uh, for the radio. They, they don't have a... Well, they don't like, have a five-second delay, so that's one of the reasons. We, we, don't, we, don't have, we have that luxury here that, um, that we can say we pretty well. Before. I mean, <laughs> but we, we don't, like, when I swear, we, we, we don't edit it out. Mm -hmm. uh, but when, you know, we, we say stuff that normally in, at the radio station, they would, uh, they would, if they had a delay, they would cut it out. For us, it's like, you know, we're open anyway. I mean, there's, unless... You know, we we have that opportunity to edit it if we if we have to. But they just you know they're doing what's best interest of the radio station and the community. And like I said before, I mean, uh, I understand and I regret being uh, asked to leave from Bear, which is uh, sort of embarrassing for me. I mean, uh, I didn't feel that what I said was uh, um, uh, you know constituted of being being. being asked to not uh, uh, be on the radio, which I felt, uh, uh, which I took it personal. It's just, well, you know, that's the decision the board made and uh, I respect it and... And, uh, I, mean, and I don't want to get in, I don't want to get into the coulda, woulda, shouldas and, and, yeah. and the, the good things or the bad things about all, like, the radio station's been under the, under the gun for a long time now. And but and I would and say really it's regrettable, to me, it's regrettable that really, you know, the, the biggest thing, I mean, the most glaring thing about the statement that came out of the radio station was fear of legal action and lack of money thereof to deal with it. And, and that seemed to me, it clouded every other reason why you would say uh, to uh, a public figure in the community to say, you can't be on the community radio station because we're scared that if you say something, we can't afford to be sued. Okay, and, that, and the reality is that's probably true, but is that a reason to to block somebody? I mean, it'd be different. Like, it's right to say, you know what? You said unsubstantiated things. We feel you said unsubstantiated things, and because you wouldn't, you you can't, you won't control your your tongue, your mouth, your whatever, then we don't feel we want you on the program. And that would be another debate, you know? We probably talked about it a little too much today already anyway, so I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, no. I mean it's, it's like I said, it's a, they're, they have, they're going to make their decision and whatever their guidelines are yeah. going to follow and, and, you know, it's the same thing. Is I guess in, in, we have to respect what, what yeah, the decisions that they made and, and, you know, move on. If, you know, because we haven't really, we haven't really spoke to, to anybody at the radio station as to all the other things I, you know, it wouldn't be fair for for us to continue to 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 well, jab, like jab them justify what they're doing. Unless they were they were sitting here, and then you know maybe in the in the near future yeah, no, we can I, we can ask that question. Yeah. But because there's still an investigation that that's going on, and there's still it's still limited as to even what maybe he should even be be, be discussing because of it. And I don't want to put anybody in that situation um, because of it. And um, it's not that I want to cut it off, but we have other parts of the show that, mm -hmm. and then for for us, we're going to be talking about often, often on di different things that are going to transpire anyway. Um, one of the other, I, I guess, um, things that we we'd like to, uh, to, I guess, look at or discuss and stuff like that. I guess there's just now the the community. 
the community watch, eh, with all the, uh, the stuff that's going on? Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, they've moved indoors now. Uh, Wednesday evening, uh, was a meeting at uh, the KSCS office to review, um, I guess, a document about the neighborhood watch that was uh, circulated. It was last Sunday was um, brought to community members at the, at the green space. There was a meeting as to what the guidelines would be projected. You know, so, uh, what it would look like, um, uh, what would be involved um, for the neighbor, neighborhood watch thing. And uh, there was a request for feedback. Mm -hmm. You know, that was, uh, they, have a, they have a Facebook page, uh, neighborhood watch, uh, so on. And it's uh, mobile so anyway, right? They're now they're, now they're in, that they're, they have documentation on, on file that they want to present and they want people to, to give up, give any of the comments or suggestions as far as that's concerned. And, you know, and, and, and there's movement in there. I'm just hoping that it continues throughout the winter and, and, and goes, you know, further. Yeah. I, I seen some of the documents though, and, and, and a lot of it has to do with the regular community watch and some with the community patrols. It's two different, two, two different, different things. things. Yeah. I have my, 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 I guess, suggestions or comments on some of those. Um, to me, anyway, from from the outside looking in, I just just want to make a quick comment. Then, yeah. is that as far as the community watch part is, is concerned, I think that it's good. It's it's how it's going to be applied is the other thing. My concern right now is when I looked at the documentation for the community patrols. I think that personally. Uh, because of my background in policing, that it, it, the, the function is, is too much for that community patrol. Some of the things that, like the training aspect of the thing, it's sort of like getting a, a community secure or it's like a security company more than a community patrol when I see it. It's sort of like taking some of the, the enforcement issues away from policing and and, and it should never happen like that. It should never work like that. So I don't know at the end of the day how that's going to happen. Yeah, my, my opinion on it is it's a good thing. It'd only be a good thing, especially when the men in the community step up to the police and say, you know what, uh, I'm not going to say enough's enough, but they, they, they realize that there's a need for it. And, and um, I, I, you know, I recently met with the peacekeepers and, and the 207 Longhouse on the issue. Um, at least they're, they're starting to start a dialogue on it, whether it be in regards to training or not. But I'm glad to see some of the men in our community uh, um, step up to the plate like the old days, how it was before, and, and you know, really we're, we're, we're the ones in charge of protecting the community, uh, regardless if you have a uniform on and a gun belt, um, you're a man of this community, um, you know, we, we all have to do our own part in some way to, to protect our, uh, especially our elders and our youth, so uh, all in all, it, you know, it's only, it only can be positive. And we'll see how far it goes from there, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, I think they. I mean, I, I, I know that it's it'll be a positive sit, but I'm. I just question how it's going to work uh, on the community patrol side, and then where, where does, where does the, the how the, far the gray, step over? The yeah, the, 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 that gray line is because it's you know you're, you know yourself that um, when you're when you're going into situations. Um, it doesn't matter how much training you are. If you're not trained as a police officer, it's it's a difficult mm -hmm. to to make the judgment of where, when you're going to do something, when you're not going to do something, and then how does that, all the legal aspects? Play well, into it? One, to me, and I think I'm somewhere in between here. Uh, it, we have to. We have to. I don't want to cut you off, but <laughs> we have to take a, a quick break. Oh, so. I didn't. I missed a cue. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick break right now. We'll be back right after these messages.